she is black like a swan, pink like a Barbie, or maybe white like an angel? Yes, she is full of controversy, but who is the real Jenny Kim? The K-pop idol first conquered South Korea, and it seems she's set on conquering Hollywood next. I'm just like so happy. <laughs> but does she really have what it takes to make it in the West? Why would she need this? We all know Hollywood plays by completely different rules. Maybe the American Superstar Factory needs this delicate and talented Asian lady more badly than she herself needs a new audience? So this is my final look for my first ever Macella. Jenny was a lover of fashion since she was young, when her mother encouraged her to create her own outfits from magazines. I remember when I was little, I looked through my mother's wardrobe and searched for whatever vintage Chanel I could find. Jenny's story is not one of rags to riches, but from riches to more riches. Jenny grew up in a very wealthy family. Her dad runs a hospital, while her mom is a director at CJENM, a South Korean entertainment company. So it wasn't really a surprise when Jenny ended up pursuing the career of an idol. Number one cheerleader uh, of all time is my mom, of course. Nepo baby trigger warning. Since Jenny's mother was an influential member of the South Korean entertainment industry, it of course was rumored that she was handed the spot in Blackpink, but no proof of that was ever really found. Meanwhile, her mom claimed she wanted a completely different life for her daughter. After studying in New Zealand, she was supposed to continue her education and become a lawyer or teacher in the United States. And we, we actually went, took a trip to Florida, saw the school, saw the place that I would live in, and it hit me like, I don't want to live by myself in Florida, not knowing what I want to do. But Jenny rejected the American dream and unexpectedly claimed, I actually want to become a singer. Like, I don't know where it came from. She is still very grateful her mom supported her singing aspirations right away. Like, even if you're 10, you still got to make your own decisions. That was very important for me to have at a young age. In the coming years, Jenny fulfilled her childhood dream. In some sense, she actually did become a teacher, teaching her co-workers English. Thanks to her English language skills, she also became the first performer in YG Entertainment to rap on stage. In 2016, Jenny debuted as a part of Blackpink, but this was not a short journey. I look back to all, all the works that I've done so far and it's really amazing because I don't really get the time to appreciate, you know, everything that has been a dream of mine that I've accomplished. Jenny literally had to sweat her butt off in YG Entertainment training camp. And you're just, you're, you're doing what? Dance, singing? Language. 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 A lot of dance work. Like popping, popping and crumb, and different genres of dance. Camp members would spend hours in the gym, and girls especially would have to follow a very strict diet and keep a close eye on their bodies. Nowadays, everyone knows the South Korean entertainment industry propagates problematic and potentially dangerous beauty standards, and this is especially true for the idols. One apple, two sweet potatoes, and a protein shake. That is all they would have for a typical meal. Then, all camp members are made to perform monthly to have their potential assessed. I like do like a survival thing every month and some people just go home after a month, mm -hmm. some people go home after three years, it's all different. And to see some of the girls that I trained with go home just made me more like... Um, motivated. Yeah, motivated. Yeah. Jenny herself recalls this period of her life as one of the hardest. She worked for days without getting paid, and most of all, success is not even guaranteed. Many hopefuls are ejected from the camps with nothing to show for it but lost years. Thankfully though, Jenny was one of the lucky ones. <laughs>
It took her five years and 11 months to finally hear the desired yes from producers. All while she reassured herself with the words, I don't want to go home, I want to make it till the end. I was like, let's catch up, that's all I had in mind. She's super clear, her opinions, her emotions, she's a perfectionist. When Jenny and the other three members of Blackpink debuted, they had to follow even more strict K-pop culture rules. Their agency literally controls every step they make and every word they say. The sheer amount of control producers and agents have over them and their complete lack of freedom is reminiscent of the Hollywood era of a hundred years ago. Maybe that's why Jenny set the course to become popular in the US, where the stars are treated more like human beings rather than just money in the bank. The K-pop singers are not allowed to disclose any details about their personal lives, so they can only dream about having a perfect romantic relationship at maybe around 40 years old. Do you think we'll all be married by then? I think we will. Of might. course, it's I think we're all married. Like, come on. Seriously, they don't even have the freedom to pursue romantic relationships. The girls of Blackpink's main task is to stay away from any controversies and scandals. They are expected to stay innocent and childlike, flawless, impeccable, and most importantly, gorgeous. Since their very first single, the world fell in love with Blackpink. The girls became true idols for the young generation and broke all kinds of records. They were granted with Asia Artist and Golden Disc Awards and became the K-pop band of the year according to Billboard. The third girl group to be on the cover of Rolling Stone. You're in a club with the Spice Girls now. You're in a club with <laughs> Destiny's Child. Stop. <laughs> including Beyonce. Just stop. <laughs> we're very and now honored. Blackpink. Oh my god, we're very, very, very honored. Jenny celebrates her every little success like a child. After performing at Coachella, behind the scenes she couldn't hold back her tears. In person, Jenny also starts to cry very easily. No matter how hard the producers try, the band not only succeeds, but sometimes gets involved in scandals. Oftentimes, Jenny Kim is the main participant of these scandals. She faced the first wave of hate when she got to be the first one out of Blackpink to release her solo single named Solo. After only 24 hours, the music video on YouTube broke all kinds of records among Korean solo singers. Jenny managed to take over the charts in 40 countries and became the first Korean artist to ever do so. When I first heard the news, I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way. <laughs> Meanwhile, however, fans of the other members of Blackpink were outraged. They claimed Jenny was benefiting from nepotism and favoritism among producers and agents. She does always seem to get the best musical parts in songs, the best outfits, and she even gets the most screen time in their music videos. And meanwhile, Jenny has been constantly accused of being too lazy, not rising up to the performance level of her bandmates. <laughs> The video of her standing on the stage barely moving spread around the world. While the lazy Jenny situation spawned millions of memes, later it turned out she actually suffered a serious injury to her ankle back then. It was claimed that her doctor strongly advised her against performing, but Kim decided to show up nevertheless. This kind of commitment almost cost her musical career, which she worked so hard for for years. They say though, despite the turmoil, at the time, Jenny's biggest supporters were the other members of Blackpink. We love supporting each other and like 
always rooting for what they've got going on in their lives. But recently, the story came back up again. During one of the performances, Jenny just turned away and left the stage. <laughs> That time, the superstar's representative team had to comment on her actions right away. According to them, Jenny was very tired and they might need to revise her schedule. Later, Jenny herself released a public apology. So sorry I wasn't able to finish the show on Sunday. I'm doing my best to recover at the moment. Your understanding and support means the world to me. For many years, Jenny claims she has been working her butt off. And due to constant pressure and an unsustainable schedule, she started having panic attacks, which are hard to hide when you're on stage. Rumors say people often heard Jenny crying on tour because she couldn't cope with the workload. She is not used to talking about her problems out loud though so she never shows it when struggling or feeling down. After all, Jenny has to follow the strict rule. An idol has no problems. Everything is always great. Sometimes when I look like I'm really tired and angry, that is my happy face. In the beginning of her career, Jenny wore a temporary Stay Strong tattoo on her right wrist. It seems now she understands even a workaholic like her sometimes needs to take a break. It's okay to slow down and take your time. Jenny loves to take a nice bath after a difficult performance or shooting videos. She is also passionate about cooking. People even call her Jenny Ramsey sometimes as a joke. We need sugar. One spoon. One spoon. The singer's net worth is estimated at $10 million, but expensive restaurants or luxury hobbies are just not Jenny's style. She doesn't even like hanging out in big crowds. She feels the happiest when she's with her closest ones. I don't do much when I'm on my own. Um, I hang out with my dogs. That's doing something. Yeah, the, um, I like to just stay at home with my family. It may be hard to believe, but she's actually very down to earth in her personal life, actually describing herself as a homebody. When I have any free time, I just, I think I rest and just try to relax at home. <laughs> It turns out this confident and sexy woman on stage is actually a very shy and timid person in reality. I am super shy. I was one of those people where I can't even order something on the phone. Just look at how she reacts standing next to David Beckham. Troy Sivan, Jenny's shooting partner, noted how modest the superstar is. And she was like, well, I'm in a band, so we were, and I was like, go. I know. Like, literally the entire planet knows that you're in a band. As Jenny continues to conquer various charts, she has also taken up acting. Ha! Sick! Incredible! Beautiful! So f***ing good! Thank you. Thank you. Recently joining an HBO series, playing a small part as a dancer, Jenny made a lot of noise, while some shower her in compliments. She is so humble and kind and just like a real, a real girl's girl. I love her. South Korean fans are once again not happy. They believe the episodes Jenny took part in are too edgy and lewd. They say Jenny might even get cancelled in her own country because of such an obscene role. Jenny herself doesn't seem all that bothered though. The most important thing for her is that she believes she did a great job. I'm very honored and overwhelmed. I'm super excited. They say Jenny was even invited to become a part of Marvel Universe as Team Agents of Atlas, which tells the story of Asian superheroes. It is predicted that Jenny will get the role of Luna Snow, who manipulates and controls ice. Now it's only a matter of receiving an official statement from the producers. That this is just the beginning. <laughs> Naturally, Jenny cannot imagine her life without work, but the most important things for her are far away from being materialistic. My family, my friends, and my fans. Three apps I need in my life.
Do you think Jenny has the chance of becoming a new Hollywood star type trendsetter? What would you say? Share your thoughts in the comments.